You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly prediction edition. Usually these are based on the weekly spoilers ahead. YNR is, as of Saturday, has not released any weekly spoilers yet for whatever reason. I only have spoilers for Monday and the promo overarching for next week. So I use those as the basis for most of these since we kind of have one hand tied behind our back this week. Spoilers wise, because CBS Daytime is being stingy. So we'll see if they release them. Hopefully they do. But anyway, I have predictions for you for Adam and Victor, for Nick and Sharon, for Victor and Nikki, for Claire, Johnny and Katie, and also for Jack and Diane. And hey, if you haven't reached down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our updates. And now let's jump right in with our very first prediction. Victor Newman pushes Adam in uncomfortable direction. So the, again, we only have the spoilers for this, but last week, Adam had a chat with his dad and he got an update about Connor. So I'm going to talk about this. So Adam is supposed to be headed to see Connor. He and Chelsea have finally gotten the green light. Connor is working through some of his OCD issues. He's eaten soup, which is sounds like it's not a big deal, but to the kid, it's a big deal. And then on Monday, as Adam and Chelsea are trying to go get on the private jet, he gets a call from Victor with some marching orders. Those are the YNR spoilers that we have for this. And Victor has already told Adam he wants him running Newman Media to target an enemy. And Adam is very happy that his dad is trusting him with something. But Adam doesn't yet know that Jack is the target. And Adam and Jack were once extremely close, almost had a father-son vibe. They're certainly not enemies. Adam may find himself trapped between his dad and his past pseudo dad. Plus, with Victor ordering him around when he's supposed to be seeing Connor, I think Adam's about to be in a very, very tough spot with his dad. And of course, he's so desperate for Victor's approval, but he's got, you know, his son and then his friend, and this is about to get messy. Our second prediction, Nick Newman might be soon considering a reunion with his ex, Sharon Newman. So, some spoilers on this Friday, June 21st is the Josh Morrow anniversary special celebrating 30 years of him playing Nick Newman. Exciting stuff. Raylan Castor is back as Faith Newman and she wants to hear Sharon and Nick's whole entire love story. So we're going to be getting a bunch of flashbacks. You know, they've been dating since they were teenagers. So, you know, decades of flashbacks and this might spark some some new feelings between Nick and Sharon. You know, Nick hasn't had any love in his life for a while. He needs some love and Sharon hasn't had hardly any scenes. And that is another reason I would be cheering a Schick reunion is just so that we get some Sharon Case screen time. So we'll see how this walk back through their romantic history, maybe, maybe, you know, could spark them to get back together or at least consider it. Our third prediction, Victor, I believe, is going to enrage his wife, Nikki Newman, on a couple of different fronts. You know, Victor is is really playing with fire right now. And in terms of spoilers, last week, we found out that Victor is Audra's silent partner, and he wants to take over Glissade with her at the helm. That way, his fingerprints aren't on it. He's going to be a silent investor. And he wants to use it to ruin Jabot. Audra is back in Genoa City next week. And so maybe we'll get some secret meetings with her and Victor. So on two fronts, Victor's doing things that are going to bother Nikki. First of them, he is partnering with Audra behind Nikki's back. And then second, Victor is using Audra to target Nikki's very good friend, of course, her ex-husband, Jack Abbott. And he's also actively trying to recruit Kyle away from Jabot. It seems that Victor wants to punish Jack and is planning to dismantle his life. Nikki's not going to like that one 
one bit, not at all. Victor's going to press on, but you know, eventually it's all going to come out and it's all going to blow up in his face. And I don't know, they've been happy for so long, but this, this could be a deal breaker. This could actually cause a split for them. And we haven't seen them split in quite a while. Is Josh Griffith going there? It seems crazy, but he might be. Our fourth prediction, Claire Newman, is she going to target her siblings. So spoilers for next week in the promo have Billy there at the tack house with Victoria and they introduce their son and daughter Johnny and Katie to their big sister Claire. Claire's dressed up like a a psychotic American girl doll. That's what she looks like to me. She's got this very what what could be a very sweet smile but to me it looks almost a little disturbing like she's trying too hard and I'm just wondering if jealousy at Johnny and Katie always having their mom around is going to eat her up, is Claire going to backslide into bad behavior? Will she want Victoria all to herself since she didn't get to grow up with her mother? I'm just wondering if we're going to see the flip side of Claire. Maybe her sneaky true colors could come out. Or, you know, maybe not. Maybe she is really thoroughly redeemed, which seems very sudden after being all murdery just a couple of months ago. So I just wonder, but Claire might be up to some bad things with these kiddos. We'll see. Our fifth and final prediction, Diane and Jack's marriage may be headed for Skidsville. So last week in episodes, Jack was on a phone call with Nikki saying, call me, I'm here anytime you need me, stuff like that. Diane wasn't happy to hear it. And when she talked to him about it, Jack flat out told his wife, he's going to keep seeing Nikki because they are friends and basically told her she just has to suck it up. She isn't very happy about what she overheard on the phone. And I do... I can see her concern because Jack prioritized Nikki's life over his and he didn't think about how his choices would affect his own wife or the rest of his family or his son. He acted very foolishly and Diane is going to be very upset. Plus, Victor has Michael Baldwin tasked with getting close to Diane and I think he is going to try to have Michael exacerbate the tension between Diane and Jack like encourage her to push back to be confrontational cause her to have more doubts about Jack doubts about Jack being that close to Nikki basically just to fuel the fire of Diane's outrage and Diane was being very nice I think about the whole Jack being Nikki sponsor thing up until the point where he went too far and pushed his own self off the wagon. So I don't think it's going to be too hard for Victor and Michael to reach in there and really destabilize that marriage. We'll see how it goes. Those are all of our predictions. Let me know what you think. Agree or disagree. Let me know where you think the storylines are going, where you hope they're going. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate you supporting the channel and come back soon. We are talking Young and the Restless here seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 